this question says that sketch on a single diagram the graph of y equals cos 2x and y equals half for the given domain 0 to 2 pi. All right. So I'm going to make an x and y axis from 0 to 2 pi. So that's 0 pi by 2 pi, 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi. Okay. Now cos 2x goes like this. This would be, let me draw cos first. Simple cos graph goes like this. It's between 1 and minus 1. But since this is cos 2x, we you will get two cycles between 0 to 2 pi. This is one cycle and you'll get another similar cycle here. So this should be the graph of 0 to the uh, graph of cos 2x between 0 to 2 pi. In fact, let me do a better job with the graph. Okay. So 1 and minus 1. So goes something like this. Okay. Yes. All right. So it values should lie between 1 and minus 1. Okay. And the other one is y equals half. This is going to be a horizontal line passing through half, which is here. So we've drawn both the graphs. Okay, next it is asking for, write down the number of roots of this equation. All right, now what is this equation? How do you get that equation? You get it by equating these two graphs, cos 2x equals half. And when you rearrange it, you actually get this equation 2 cos 2x minus 1 is equals to 0. So in other words, they're just asking for the numbers of points of intersection between these two curves, these two graphs. So that's going to be four. So there are four solutions or four roots of the given equation. Okay. Next it says that deduce the number of roots of the same equation from 10 pi to 20 pi. Okay, now this is a huge domain and it starts way later. So this graph keeps going on and on and on and then eventually it becomes 10 pi somewhere over here maybe and then we see that how many points of intersection do we have whatever the graph looks like that this actually more more looks like graph of sine x but we can ignore it anyway we need to see how many points of intersection we get in this domain okay now let's go back to the original domain from 0 to 2 pi we were getting four solutions. Okay. From zero to two pi, we get four solutions. Okay, now we need to see how many two pi's intervals do we have in this region? So the number of two pi intervals would be, first you'll do 20 pi minus 10 pi, the distance between these two values divided by two pi. So that would be 10 pi divided by pi, which is 2 pi, which is 5. Okay. So there are five such cycles between 10 pi to 20 pi. And in each one cycle, we have four roots. So in five such cycles, we'll have 4 times 5, which is 20 roots. 